everybody, we're here with the Robert Downey Jr. of Midsummer Scream, John Murdy. Oh, I get the joke, I get the joke now. I just saw that this morning and I went, oh, okay. That's an interesting way to exactly. reveal different. something. It's different. Um, Frank, you, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 50th mm -hmm. anniversary, you're bringing it back for the 50th anniversary. What was it about it to bring it back? Uh, not only is it an inspiration to you, but also to a, a whole generation of people. Well, it's just such an iconic horror film, um, you know. And it, and it didn't start that way. Like when Texas, for, I mean, it was successful out of the gate as a movie. It's one of the most successful independent films ever made. Um, but over the years, it's become not only a classic of the horror genre, of just movies in general. Um, for its 50th anniversary, what was really important to, to me was not just to bring it back and do, oh, okay, let's do the original film. We've done that a couple of times. Um, I wanted to do something different. So I was really excited when the people we work with on Texas Chainsaw Massacre threw out this idea uh, which was to take like a multiverse approach to the franchise and to try to feature all the different iterations of Leatherface that exist within the nine films in that franchise. And then that's also a challenge, you know, because then you have to figure out, well, how do you make that work in a story? Um, but that really excited me and made me want to, to tackle it and, and to try to create something that was entirely new that no one's ever seen before. And that's so cool. But before I let you go, I want to talk about luchadors yeah. with monstros monstros was a great maid maze but bringing that legend of the luchador yeah. into it how what what are you hoping people are going to get from that um well i think what's what's happened over time with our latin american houses is we you know initially that was my reaction to our guests our fans that were coming up to me initially saying la llorona la llorona why don't you do something with la llorona la llorona um but now, not only do we get to bring it to life for our, you know, our fans of Latino culture, but it crosses over to everybody else and it educates them on this whole other world of horror that they might not know about. And I think um, since we've made it such an uh, integral part of our event, um, it's something we get to do now that I think is super cool. It's like it's show off another culture's legends and stories and myths um, to all of the fans of Halloween Horror Nights, and I just think that's an awesome thing. Yeah. And I agree, John. Thank you so much for stopping with us. Thank we'll you. talk to you more when we get closer to Halloween Horror Nights. Right on. Thank, Thank you. you.